Sponsors. Hmm. So which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? And will you fall into the pit of ungratefulness as you submit to the bliss of this world? And will you forget the mercy extended to all of mankind, the one to refine human being who was assigned to all men and kind? Ya Rasulullah. The mercy to the world and mankind was his only concern. Now this notion may seem absurd, but only because of how far we have turned from his ways. See, if anyone relieves a believer from a hardship in this life, then God will relieve him from a hardship on the last day. So why does it seem that the hardships of the believers seem to outweigh the hardships of those who do not believe? We become experts at concealing our belief and retracting relief from those who need it. Where have we gone wrong? Ya Rasulullah, you are rahmatul lil alameen, a mercy to all living things. So how can we as humanity be so selfish, killing and slaughtering, not caring who felt it? What did we do to try and prevent it? Did we extend our compassion or go against it? Did we speak up during injustice or try to defend it? Did we learn the sunnah and try to represent it? Because if you don't study, it's hard to digest it. Just like a world with no leader, there is no justice. So where did we go wrong? How can we call ourselves an ummah if we are not tied by religion but by infatuations of this world? We need to leave this behind and begin to emerge into something much more preferred. Righteous Muslims. Our souls disturbed by this artificial world with its only duty to defer us from what has been confirmed. Gardens and rivers all adorned for our place in Jannah is reserved as long as we walk on the path of Rasulullah unturned. A path paved with stones of compassion on it. We are neither alone or abandoned. He taught us what's important is what we wear of our character and not what's trending or of fashion. For Rasulullah wore light and a smile, spoke kind words to a child, all the while with the might of the Most High. Righteousness is not a weakness, it's strength with humility, it's justice with compassion, it's acceptance, not hostility. Endless attributes it can be, so with it, how can we go wrong? Verily, all Rasulullah wanted was to save his ummati. He cried, Ya ummati, ya ummati. This means you and me, he cried with all his love, compassion, and mercy. So how can we go wrong? How can we let this infant structure of hate and selfishness control us when verily we know Rasulullah told us, righteousness is serenity in the soul and peace of mind in the heart.